So when you get there, you're gonna be happy that you actually sacrificed everything. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Everyday Rika where we talk about mom life, money, and motivation. So if you are new here, welcome beautiful people. I talk about everything mom life, money, and motivation for your everyday life. So guys, in today's video, I definitely want to talk about lifestyle creep. Your girl has been experiencing lifestyle creep. So um, I have a video on um, my strengths of income. But I'll just say last year I quit my job and one of my PRN jobs, I went from PRN to full time. So of course that came with the increase. But with that increase, you want to experience lifestyle creep. So you start thinking about things that you can get and things that you've been wanting to get for a long time. Things that you deserve. Like I deserve these things. So I started getting lifestyle creep. And especially after I got my house, I was like, okay, finally I got my house. But then there are other things that I started to want. And I'm starting to try to calm myself down and realize those are things that I want. But I think there's a bigger picture for me in the future. So the first thing um, that I definitely feel like I started to, to want was more clothes, more handbags, which I did get two handbags. One was $220, the other one was $160. But I hadn't had a purse, or bought a purse, shall I say, in a very long time, and so I was like, okay, well, I'm justifying that purchase because, oh, well, the purse that I have is kind of tore up, but I could have went to Target to go get a $30 purse or a $40 purse, but this is what I wanted. So those are the things that I mean with lifestyle creep. And another thing is I drive. So I drive from my job. I drive everywhere. Hours, it could be an hour away when I'm doing visits. I drive. So um, I have a 2014 Honda CRV. So yeah, I have had this car paid off for some time and I don't have a car note. And I started to think about, oh my God, when you see these fresh new cars, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you had a used car, when you see a new car, you'd be like, I want a new car. So um, my baby, she currently has about 240,000 miles. So it is time for a new car. So about a month or so ago, me and my sister, we went looking at cars. Oh my God. So I did look at a new Honda Pilot that I want, I want to say you guys, it was like $45,000. And then, of course, I said, if I am going to get a car note, I'm going to get what I want. And I want a BMW X5, you guys. I want one so bad. And so, I went to the BMW car lot. I was looking, and I looked at the new 2024 uh, BMW X5. And y'all, it was beautiful. It was nice. I swore. I was like, I'm coming back next week for that car. Like, I want that car. And so, I just felt like the lifestyle creep just kept rising and rising. And then I'm seeing all these things that I want to do for my house, how I want to decorate my house, um, just decks and, and sheds. And, like, it started to become a lot. And I'm a very financial conscious person person all the time I'll think about something and then somehow my little financial person will just come up and be like do you really need to do that and I'm glad she or he is there whoever it is I am happy but sometimes I do want to live my life because I feel like I deserve it so with all that being said um if you know me I'm a Dave Ramsey fan um I have been watching Dave Ramsey since 2017 so, if you know who Dave Ramsey is, if you don't, please go watch him. He's a financial guru. He is on YouTube, Instagram. Dave is everywhere. So, um, I read his book, Total Money Makeover. And um, my ex got it for me because I kept watching the show. And he was just like, she is really into this. So, I'm going to get her this book. You guys, I read the book and it just totally changed my life. And I was just like, okay, I'm more money conscious now. Um, paying off credit cards, just 
um, watching what I spend. But after a couple of years, I kind of just was more relaxed. I was like so intense. I'm going to pay off all this debt. And I kind of got relaxed on it. And um, for the last, I think maybe three months, I have been watching Dave's show every single day. So he um, is live on YouTube at like three to five, like every single day. So I started watching it and I was like, okay, I'm back on it. So um, paying off one of the two credit cards that I have left, and I really started thinking about um, paying my house off early. That's one thing that I've wanted to do. I think that our older generation, they work until they're like 65, 70. And unfortunately, some of them still have a mortgage and also some have a car note. And then also some of them are living paycheck to paycheck. And I just realized that is not what I want. Um, I'm not going to work all these years just to keep having to work and still be worried about money and what I have to pay when I get 65 or 70. God's willing if he keeps me on this earth that long. So I'm ready to sacrifice. I'm ready to sacrifice just saving more. I'm ready to sacrifice paying off my house early. Um, I have sacrificed for four weeks, probably five weeks. Um, with bringing my lunch, I think one day out of the week I might eat out. So I've been saving a lot of money. I've been paying off debt. And once I finish um, my last credit card, I'm going to hit my, my house really, really hard. I think I'm really ready to sacrifice. I have to keep myself motivated. Hence, that's why I'm watching Dave's show every single day. So I want to encourage you guys, if you are feeling like lifestyle creep is starting to catch you and you see the things that you want in the future or who you don't want to be like or I, you just, you're just worried about it. I want to motivate you guys to sacrifice it. Write down the goals and dreams that you want for the future. So when you get there, you're going to be happy that you actually sacrifice everything. I'm going to be happy that I sacrificed my 40s in my 50s, in my 30s, <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice all of that and I'm going to be so freaking happy that I did. I'm not saying that you can't go on a couple of vacations because I'm going on a couple of vacations, but in your means and you're going to budget for those vacations. So even with this car that I want, I am, I'm not getting that BMW X5, I'm just saying right now, it was like $75,000, but that's neither here nor there. I'm going to save up for a used car and I am going to sacrifice. This is a sacrifice season because the way these days are going, y'all, we're already in 2024. We're already in 2024. So before you know it, we're going to be like 60 and 65 and we're going to be like, where did the years go? And you don't want to have that debt and you don't want to be sitting there worried about your bills. So that's why I am. Let me... Let me know if you guys have been dealing with lifestyle creep and if you're thinking about sacrificing. And I know most of you guys, you're on a mobile home journey and that's lesser bills for you guys. And y'all want to live just a meaningful life and a minimalist life. So just let me know. Um, thank you guys for listening and watching. I appreciate all the new subscribers. It's wonderful, you guys. This is a, a nice community and we're going to continue to go. All right, guys, don't forget to live your best life every day, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.